In this video, I want to show you how to make these whisk brooms. They're super easy and fun to make. To make these, you first need broom corn. I grew my own. I grew this actually about two years ago and saved a whole bunch of the stalks from it. Broom corn is also known as sorghum and it does come in multiple colors. The plants grow extremely high. The broom corn can get up to 15 feet tall. So make sure whatever you're planting that you have enough room to grow it. And it makes a great privacy fence. Once the plant is has dried out, they're great for birds. They will absolutely love these. They love picking all these seeds off. It does come in multiple colors. So you can see lighter and darker colors on the seeds. The seeds you can save and plant them or let the birds eat them. But what I want to do is take this off. So all these seeds I will scrape off the plant and I'll usually use a knife. It does kind of a, make a mess because it flies everywhere. So I try and do this outside because otherwise they kind of just fly in all directions. As you can see, they kind of just fly everywhere. I'm using a bone folder for this, but you can use a knife. And then you just clean all these seeds off. You can try and use your hand to kind of pick them off, but it's just much faster to use some kind of a flat tool to scrape everything off. As you can see, one stalk will create a whole bunch of seeds for you. And depending on how mature it is, you'll see that some stalks will be super thick and some thinner. And some are even darker. So you can see I have three different shades of the seeds here. If I scrape some of these off, I'm gonna have them all over my craft room here, the way they fly. But you can see that I've got three different colors of seeds here. So these I'll just set aside and enough to share for the whole neighborhood here. And then once you've scraped all of them off, this is what you end up with. It's just the stalk. Now, if you'll notice the, these kind of start at a point, all of them. So I line all of these up so that, you know, they're going to have different lengths here. You can trim this here, but I do want this to be at the same point because I don't want it where this is part of the thinner strands or too far down. So I just keep everything in lined up. Once you have these all put together, then I just tie this together here. And I will eventually cover this. I just put a couple of knots on here just to make sure that it stays put. Okay, and then the ends here, I do trim off because they're obviously all different lengths because I wanted this to be even. So I'll just trim this to whatever length. You can use garden shears. I'm just using, I have these scissors handy, so that works. And I'm sure there's a project to be done with these. They're super light. All right, so once I have this, then I will just take some ribbon and start wrapping it on here. And I use my trusty art glitter glue. That's great for all the project. And I spiral it down on here. And of course, if you wanted a shorter handle, you can do that. It doesn't have to be this, this long. And I'm just going to put a little rubber band on here until the glue dries. Okay, I did leave a little bit of a handle on this side, just so you can see that. And then the broom. Now this, you could twist some of these, trim a little bit off the top if there's some stray ones. Now that this has dried, I'll take this off 
and this ribbon did have wire in the on the edges so that it was easy to form but um, you can add a bow to this and this makes a great decoration as part of another project you can use it like this to sweep up your mess so lots of uses for this but this is how easy it is to make it save some for yourself for next year let the birds eat them and clean the stalks off for you if you don't feel like making a mess and then make some fun brooms like this hope this was a fun project if you have any questions comment below if you are interested in getting some seeds like this then um, join my facebook group and i'm happy to ship some off to you um, anywhere in the continental us i don't think i can ship abroad so join my facebook group and thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time